The mother of missing teenager, Jay Slater, has provided a new update on her son, who has now been missing for 11 days. Debbie Duncan, currently in Tenerife to aid in the search for the 19-year-old, shared the update on a fundraising page created to help find him. The page has raised more than £35,000. In a post on the GoFundMe page today, Duncan expressed her gratitude for the public support and outlined her plans to withdraw part of the £36,250 of funds. She wrote, First, I would like to thank everyone for your support, kind messages and good wishes. It's difficult to wrap our heads around what is happening right now, but we are not losing hope that we will find Jay and return home together. Duncan continued, we are currently working with GoFundMe to withdraw part of the funds which are being safely held. I wanted to share that these funds will be used to support the mountain rescue teams who are tirelessly searching for Jay. Additionally, since our stay in Tenerife needs to be extended, we will also use the funds to cover accommodation and food expenses. I'm surrounded by wonderful people who are by my side, but far from their loved ones, so we'll also be using part of these funds to fly them to Tenerife so we can support each other during these dark times. Jay Slater flew from Lancashire to the Canary Islands for a music festival, but disappeared after staying with people he met during a night out on June the 16th. During his final call to his friend Lucy Law at 8am local time last Monday, the 19-year-old said his phone had only 1% battery, he was thirsty and he did not know where he was. His last known location was in the rural Deteno Park, an area popular among hikers. He has not been seen since and the search has now entered its 11th day. Following his disappearance, internet trolls set up fake GoFundMe pages in Slater's name leading his family to beg people not to donate to them. All seven pages have since been deleted. But Rachel Hargreaves, a friend of Slater's who is currently in Tenerife, criticised the reaction on social media. She wrote on Facebook, All the groups are full of trolls and sickos. I can't believe some people are actually this sick in the head. There are people hacking my accounts and Jay's family, making it pure lies and pretending we are all in it. Jay's missing and it's absolutely soul-destroying. The search for Jay Slater continues, with his family and friends remaining hopeful and thankful of the public support during this challenging time. Stay tuned to GB News on all platforms for more updates on this developing story. Daniel Smith, GB News.